So, Empires, Dawn of the Modern World, is basically a spiritual sequel to uh, Empire Earth, uh, the original two. Uh, the original, I say the original two, but uh, Mad Doc actually took over that from Stainless Steel. Uh, this game was actually made by Stainless Steel. And um, I think Rick Goodman, if that rings any bells, was a lead designer or et cetera on that. Uh, regardless, um, it is an excellent game. Um, it has aged pretty damn well. Uh, I'm not going to tell you it's perfect, because uh, it's not. It's not perfect at all. Um, I'm not going to get in too much to constantly babbling about the physics or whatever. Or not the physics. The uh, details of the game too much because I'm going to go on and on. And on. I'm going to turn this music up though. I'm a huge fan of the soundtrack of this. Oh man. This is one of those games, if anyone can relate to this, that just has one of those kind of. Um, What's the word I want to say? It has like a coming home kind of feeling to it. So I will go ahead and explain some different things here. Um, the maps are very similar to what you would see in uh, Empire Earth. Um, they've done a lot of work to it. Um, it's, it's really quite nice. Um, I kind of want to do Caspian Sea instead of random. So we're going to do that. Um, there is a variant mode in this, which is very interesting. So as you can see here, Empire Builder is a more long-term game, which is what we're going to do today, uh, simply because I, I quite like that game mode uh, a little bit more than um, action. So, you know, more resources per resource site. But you can only have six per site, unless you're the French or the Franks. Two for the price of one tex. Age advancement is more expensive. Walls and towers are stronger. And towers are cheaper but have more attack. Action of 16 citizens can gather per resource site. Gather rates are faster. Age advancements are less expensive. Units turn and accelerate faster. Which I actually haven't noticed at all. So... Uh, we're going to leave it at that. Game speed, I'm just going to put standard since we're going for a little more of an authentic experience. You can have an absurd amount of units if you really want to get your ass fucking destroyed. So, yeah, um, there are four civilizations to start out with. And then later on, there are more as you get into the later ages. So, China, Korea, Franks, England... I'll make this as simple as possible because I don't really want this to take forever. China is kind of like your, your spam but civilization, but um, they have plenty of unique tactics and very powerful units. So you're varied. You're very varied. Um, a lot of their... Uh, or rather, their, all their units, as far as combat units are built from a mobile base as well as their town centers are mobile and they can only build town centers. Koreans are uh, a great turtler. Um, if you don't know what that means, very defensive. Uh, but Korea is... Man, their shit is expensive, but it's powerful. Let's just leave it at that. Franks are also very defensive. They have great cavalry, really shitty infantry, but their infantry can hide in forests and basically ruin everybody's day as well as their citizens. England is a good rounder but they're very good at naval warfare and they have a lot of special buildings that auto produce um, excuse me, auto produce resources. I stick with the Franks. Um, they also have a really good bonus for having eight instead of six uh, as far as their uh, resource notes go. So I think we've got everything set up the way we want it to be set up. So we're going to go ahead and start. It's 
It's been ages since I've played this seriously, so I don't really expect to win. Our ally is England, and we're probably facing... Okay, we're facing two other English players. All right. Time to get to business. All right. Of course, everyone's on food. And we're going to spam citizens. So your resource nodes as well, you can also task more peasants to that because we're French. Why does that make sense? I don't know. I don't really care. Um, you can, uh, of course, drop a barracks down and send a scout out. However, we have a British ally and he gets this neat little resource map thing from the start of the game. Which is super cool, in my opinion. Because that way you know where to send your dudes out if you feel so inclined to. We're going to go ahead and max this out. That way we have eight people in the apple tree. Which is obviously what we want to do right now. We can also fucking drag our little we'll quick select bar over there. There's lots of nice little neat details here. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to drop a settlement over here, kind of in between this gold mine and uh, this forest, because we're way too far off. As you can see, the peasants will automatically come up here and finish the drop-off building. Now, if that's not cool, you can just get the fuck out, man. I mean, that is a neat little feature that was... I can't remember when the game was made, but it's just a neat little feature. That shit blew my mind as a kid. I'm not even going to pretend. That shit blew my mind as a kid. I thought it was really dope. So, in this game, kind of like Empire Earth, you have settlements. You throw six of your civilian units in there, it becomes a town center. Obviously, you want to do that at some point, but it's not a big deal. You do want to use hotkeys a lot in this game. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop a tower right here. This is retarded, I know, but you want to have some place for your civilians to run into um, in case someone raids me. And this is on the you know, two levels south of the top deck. I probably won't even win this game. If I do, it's going to be really cheap and terrible. Uh, the only civilization that can garrison towers are Franks and the French. So it's uh, not quite like other RTS games in that respect. But it increases the fire rate and the attack, and they can use a, a very uh, broad attack. It's a neat little thing that they've tried to balance everything. This is a pretty damn balanced game. I, I pretty much constantly bitch about balancing, so it's damn close depending on your terms of balancing. And our English allies have set forth on the seas. And of course, we're just going to keep building up. Um, I could start walling off some stuff I'll probably send a peasant out shortly to kind of check some stuff out because in all honesty our line of sight for peasants is increased there's a lot of little bonuses and stuff out out there for people who want to see it I don't really build a military super quickly I do that in most RTS games is that bad? yes is that okay? yes I don't know I get differentiated opinions. We're going to build a, a lookout post, which is also something unique to the Franks. And of course, the rest of these guys are going to be English. So. I don't have a desire to try and control the center sea. Um, it's kind of a waste of resources. Um, um, however, it can pay off. So. 
I'm not saying it's stupid or anything. I'm just saying, uh, guys. I'm not too keen on trying to control that area. I'm going to go ahead and move him down here. I'm going to go ahead and try and build a barricade. Since that's where land forces are going to come from. I'm a little slow building up. It's also been a while since I played this game. And the uh, audio has just decided to assault us. So we're going to drop a wall here. Our walls are stronger after we research a technology. Yeah, see, well, the AI really likes to build boats and stuff, and that's fine, but it's very annoying to me. It's, you know, very quaint almost, so to speak. So we're going to, we're going to, you know, be cautious here and drop a wall. That way we can secure that. And we've got some other means of food procurement over there. And that's something that I try to plan ahead for. We're going to go ahead and drop a settlement over here next to this wildlife and this gold mine. Because I got plenty of wood, but I'm sucky for food. I need to be able to be pumping this stuff out. Rather than just screwing around. So we're going to assign them to hunt after all this is done. We need to increase our citizen production. And thankfully, he's pretty much got this done just in time. Drop a gate here in case our ally wants to move around. Start being retarded or whatever. After that, we'll go ahead and research uh, buttress defenses, which is something that allows us to upgrade our wall structure. And I hope it's from the university and not from the uh, armor. I'm pretty sure it's from the university. You want to keep spamming civilians for a while, just like most RTS games. I'm not even going to pretend to be concerned uh, with my ally over there. There's not. I'm going to go ahead and garrison these guys. It's in a nice close proximity. I'm going to need civilians for... The gold, you want to have at least two, sometimes three town centers as a general rule. That's in my experience, anyway. Very good. Now we're going to research that whenever we can. We don't have the resources for that right now because we need more gold. But what I am going to do. Let's go out here and drop some more uh, surveillance posts. I'm big on intel. It just bothers me when I don't know shit. So we're going to do that. And I might actually build an armory and uh, get some pack mules. No enemies will be able to take this town. They'll send you little messages and shit. I uh, he's smacking my dudes. Get over here and help my dude, dude. Looks like they will. Really? Just lead him back to him. Ah, uh, don't let him kill my homie. Whatever, he's done now. Are you still following this dude? Really, man? It's one peasant. One peasant. Yeah, I see the dope macro. Well, there you go. I hope that was worth it. 
fucking annoying piece of shit. That's all right. I was literally just doing recon. So, I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna send another one over here. Send him via this way. Send him via the south. I'm just big on intel. One problem that is going to create those, it's going to make it so fucking. Uh, get up here, Jesus. Just taking forever. Oh my god, I don't care about my allies' base. He's a fucking hard. All he does is fucking sit in his base all day and spam shit. We're gonna build some barracks. Uh, Calvary's not really an option right now. So that's gonna be the logic for that. And I, I like to keep, like I said, I really like to keep an eye on shit. These are cheap to produce, so it's one of those, why the fuck not? Like I said, the French infantry isn't really worth too much. I would recommend it. But it's something to do. Alright, we're getting really close to their base. We're just gonna drop this over here. And call that done. Now we need to find another gold mine, which I had two over here. Drop this right here. And of course, you can research improvements on all that to increase your gathering rate and all that good stuff. No, you should probably get the fuck out of there, man. Why don't you just come out here and mine some gold? Alright, that's maxed out. You can go down here and mine some gold. Um, I don't know what I want to make. Archers aren't really worth it. Um, we'll probably just go for man at arms. It's a really cheap strategy for that. So. We'll just probably go for that. Seems like a wise choice. That just gives us a huge, huge look. Oh my god, you can see how far the model goes down. <laughs> That's fucking terrifying. I just like to know what's going on. I don't, I don't think there's such a thing as like too much intel. Alright, we have capped two mines. Unfortunately, our food production is fucking garbage. So we're going to build a fucking granary. I don't see any more. We got some. Yeah, we got some fucking. Okay, no. We're gonna go over here and. Nah, that's that's not feasible. Fuck that. That's too far. We'll just drop this here. Fuck that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. That's that's gonna take. Now, of course, what we could do is fish, but fishing is going to be a pain in the ass. I'm not going to fucking attempt that shit. I'm not going to play that game. Sucks that we barely have any food. I want an armory. Now, one other thing we can do once we have an armory. <laughs> 
is build a uh, a church, which will give us cardinals. Cardinals can summon earthquakes because that's just how Catholicism. Oh, we want the buttress defenses. Definitely want that. We're also going to go ahead and get pack animals. Because it's just something every man needs in his life. But mostly we're just doing it, so my citizens can move faster. Thereby making them far more efficient. They can already move faster anyway, but now they can move even faster. Under attack! Yeah, I knew that shit was gonna happen. I knew that shit was gonna happen. That was not a fucking surprise to me at all. We can also do battlefield plunder, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I need more goddamn food. <laughs> like, we are struggling on the food department. Get over there. We are really hurting the food department. We're gonna drop another granary of it. Oh god, the mouse is rebelling. Is that, that's more than eight. I'm not concerned about the rest. We'll send the rest off to the slave camp. I don't know. I'm not even remotely concerned about that shit. Why the fuck are you smacking that? <laughs> we just built that right next to our shit. I'm going to go ahead and give the man-at-arms pack meal because they're just not worth anything else and they might as well be able to engage a little bit quicker. That's all I got. Like, I want to say more for them, but we might as well do that and be like, well, at least they can engage a little bit quicker. That's all I can do. Like, I hate to be like that, but we might as well just say, well, at least they can engage quicker. They're not worth anything, personally. They're pretty garbage. But, you know, what do you want? This is gonna take him forever. Like, we have, like, our fucking walls are 24 fucking thousand hit points compared to, like, England's walls, which are 550. Like, this is some extreme fucking walling. We are not to be underestimated as far as putting walls and shit up, man. We are not to be underestimated. We really need to increase food production. This is not acceptable. Like everything else is pretty much golden right now. I just... I need more food. This is about to be done. We got two farms going. You'd think that actually would be enough, but whatever. Oh, now he's gonna start smacking it. That's hilarious. What do these cost me? I like how it's food and gold. That's fucking terrible. Fucking patriarch bullshit. Anyway. We got gold at the ass, though, which is pretty unusual, considering. We're just going to try and raid them. That is one thing the French can do, considering we can just run. Run away and heal. So I'm not super worried about that. I just need to be able to produce more food. and This is driving me crazy. I don't understand what's going wrong. <laughs> is this done yet? I kind of just want to put them on a farm. Will you please shut up? I get we're under attack. I really do. I'm not ignoring you. It's just, it's not much I can do about us being under attack right now. Oh, someone else smacking? What? Why are you even bothering? It's so weird. 
We're getting ready to rock, boys. Hope you're all ready for a fucking... This is gonna be really underwhelming, actually. Allies are doing pretty good. The AI kind of just spreads all over the map. That's probably one of my biggest complaints for the game. It's just, it, it just they just spread everywhere. It's just like I get what we're doing here, but it makes me feel kind of shitty. It's like are we even really playing the game, or we're we just trolling at this point. I want to get a few cardinals out there, but it's going to take forever to get them out. It takes forever to train. My apple trees have depleted. I'm okay with that, to be completely honest, because it's taking you guys away. Wow, look at that combo. That's some unnerving shit right there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and... We're going to go ahead and raid a little bit. See what we can get done. We'll come back if we get fucked up. Ain't no big deal. I got three granaries now. Like This shit better be popping. Man, this I can see. Uh, attacking this tower is probably not going to do us any good. Oh, he just hit us with the fucking plague. What an asshole. Whatever, dude. My shit's cheaper than yours. In the end, I win. God damn. They're all dying. Wow, that did not work at all. What a shame. It's the slaughter. We just threw the plague on everybody. Wow. Who knew? Things those guys are expendable. Ah, uh, you know what? We might as well just rapid age or whatever. I'm not worried about it. Let's just uh, find another gold mine and cap that. Uh. Food should be coming in really quickly and we'll just cap all that shit. Forget it. I'm just gonna nuke everybody. It's the right thing to do. That was really unfortunate. That's way too many. That's okay, I need. Let's see how many that's. Four. Now we're just gonna have a ridiculous amount of fucking gold. If there was a market in this game, we just buy everything at this point. Whatever. I'm just gonna fucking mine the shit out of this stuff. It's almost ex inexhaustible. Oh shit. They're at the fucking gates. Can we age up first though? Yes, we can. That's cool. Can you just the plague on these guys? Oh yes, you can. Oh yes, you can. Let's see if we can get over there and do it for her. It's too late. They've already smacked that one down. I'm surprised. I feel they need to smack any others down. Okay, you know what? You guys get on stone. It's starting to get a little spooky out here. Enjoy the plague, assholes. See? Oh, whoa! What the fuck just happened? Oh, I clicked off screen. That was unfortunate. Probably lost my priest. No, nah, he just walked away. They really don't like my walls. Like, I'm pretty sure they don't even need to destroy them at this point. I don't like them. My walls have pissed them off for the last time. So, unfortunately, aging up to the next stage here isn't really going to help us out that much. 
Oh, sweet Jesus. You know a man's serious when he's just out here fucking... That dude has still got the plague. I don't know how we get the plague to an inanimate object, but by God, we're gonna do it. It's taking forever to do this, too. We're just gonna build a fuckload of towers over here just to piss them off. If you guys like towers. It's never gonna fucking end. No tower topia, bro. Do you have any like interesting things equipped to these guys? Probably got heavy armor on him. I always do that. Shut up! No Mylai's base is under attack. And he's just sending just letting this shit just pass through here. That was real fucking neat, guys. We appreciate your fucking help. Anyway. Now we can research Supply Depot. I'm gonna do that on the Fooslayers. He's literally just over here smacking my shit. Dude, you are garbage. Why do you want to do this? This is some bizarre level shit. I hope that was worth it. Weirdo. We're gonna beat him with some garbage tactics, boys. Go defend our walls. We need to upgrade them to... I need 50 food, that's all I need to upgrade, and it upgrades pretty fast if I remember right, yep. Wow. Some fucking basic bitch level shit. You guys are ready to deal with my obnoxious bullshit. How do we not have enough stone for another wall? Jesus. Stone mining has become... So fucking edgy. And I'm aware. Enemy at the gates and all that. They're pretty just occupied with smacking my walls. Unfortunately, that's... <laughs> it's gonna take a while. You can cast Plague on them now, but... They're all pretty far away. Let's see if... Let's see if we can actually outrange them. That would be hilarious. England has so much, like, CC. It's gonna be difficult to do anything. He's just gonna walk up to him and get wrecked by... Yep. That's what I thought. Oh! Oh, yeah, they have ballistics training. Okay, do that. Whatever. Just give it to him. Give it to him and we'll walk away. Fuck it. We don't care about that. See ya. As we just walk away casually. I don't know how this guy got through, but we're gonna come over. Oh, well, that's not gonna work anyway. He's just gonna get raped. Oh, please don't tell me it launched a cow. I'm gonna be very mad if he launched the cow. I'm just gonna open the door and shoot you to death. Oh, uh, stop with the... F oh my god, why is it... Oh, it's a stupid alienware shit. I'm gonna have to come up with a solution to that. Get away from the toxic cloud. I'm not worried about the toxic cloud. I'm just gonna keep coming back and fucking you up. do not matter how many walls you can knock down. God damn, my production just sucks. Yeah, anyway. What is y'all's obsession with knocking down my fucking walls? Like, my walls take so many hits, it doesn't even matter. It's a weird obsession with knocking down my walls. 
I don't understand this at all. Oh, he's finally, like, showing up to fuck my shit up. Oh, he finally figured out that he could... He could do this. Right, get them out of there. Get them in there. Have a good time. You give him the plague. God, that really sucks, though. It was an excellent fucking weapon. When in doubt, get the flag. No, don't do that now. Don't do that now. Keep moving forward. God, that sucks. And they can't fire over walls. Or maybe they can? I don't know what's going on here, to be honest. Like I said, the AI is on a pretty hard difficulty. It's not really gonna stop me. My defenses are too strong, bro. Turn back. Uh. Oh, I'm just gonna get wrecked. You know what? You're getting the plague, asshole. Enjoy. Yep. You're just gonna get shrecked. Oh. Some bizarre little shit. Whatever. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Uh, shit all you want. What do you want me to do about my allies' base? I got my own fucking problems right now, bro. I'm just gonna leave the fucking walls like that. That way they just keep coming over here in the one single file line. It's fucking funny. Once these guys are done, I'm gonna build a fucking tower up here. Hope you guys enjoy this. Me, please. That way, that takes them a while to kill that because that's their specialty or whatever. I hope that was worth it, man. I don't know why you guys are just rushing me like this. It's not very strategic, bro. He's gonna come up here and try to smack him. It's too late. It's too late, boys. Will you please stop? Like, they have got so much ground control from their civilization. You're like wasting your resources. Much as I like fucking you in the ass. Then come on. Like storming the beaches on D Day over here. This is fucking terrifying. Oh well. I know you are prepared, but are you ready to rock? Okay, so I guess we'll sally forth and see kind of what we can do. I'm getting pretty hungry here, so I'm probably gonna get off here shortly. But at least the AI has kind of caught up to me on the age. 
And fortunately, this is one of those games where you really need siege equipment. Because you're going to lose a lot of men like this. But we can afford the casualties. We're just over here trying to fuck with them. Ah, shit. Here comes the oil guy. Just move back for now. We need some kind of... Hmm. Trying to think of a like a good solution to this dilemma. Of course, I just keep luring these assholes back to get slaughtered in the fucking kill zone. This shit isn't right. We still haven't collected enough stone. What the fuck happened to these guys? They get raped? I guess so. I don't know where you guys are going, but you need to chill out. This is just inhumane what we're doing right here. He's just coming over here shooting my civilians. <laughs> Hope all that shit was worthy, man. Just sitting over here healing up every time you fucking come over here and try to fuck us in the butt. Hope it was worth it. They desperately try to get into some sort of formation. This doesn't work, man. It doesn't work. The game doesn't work like that. Hmm, I want to get like a good siege group up, but at the same time, not so much. I don't know. Finding the English is kind of a pain in the ass. I think we might just try to age up as quickly as possible. Kind of beat him the age of... Oh, Jesus Christ. He's doing just fine. We could always just send troops up here. Or even just donate troops to him. To kind of fuel his cause. But... It is what it is. Alright, well, I think... I need to get some dinner, so we are going to just call this one Memes. Somewhere along the line, I hit my caps lock. I am in desperate need of some dinner, so thank you for watching, whether it's been recorded or not, or whatever. Check out my Discord, it's below, under questions, if you give a shit. If you don't, I don't really blame you. Anyway, good night.